one of the most effective things I've seen online is uh, videos where people are like, we haven't seen Kamala Harris in three years. And all of a sudden she yeah. pops back up. Like there was one of this guy and it, I guess she went to go see uh, like Team USA basketball when they were training. And it's her walking in. She's in like a suit and, you know, she looks like a principal in the middle of a high school basketball like in her heels and her pantsuit and they pan to all the players and they're all kind of like looking at each other like why is she here and I think that those clips of her kind of resurfacing where you don't expect her are one of the best parts of the internet it's maybe not the strongest moment in meme culture but there is this underlying current of like oh yeah I kind of remember Kamal Harris oh, she's going to run for president now? Yeah. I think there are people who don't feel any kind of connection to her. And that's why they try to foster this, like, but they're weird and, and we're fun and cool energy. I think you have to kind of gauge where, like, super normie people are and what they're kind of saying, whereas I'm very plugged into just left and right TikToks about the election right now. And a lot of the middle of the road people are... The lines that really resonate with them are, you've been in office for three and a half years. Day one was three and a half years ago. That's a big one, I think. Yeah, Trump, Trump. Continue yeah. hitting. Um, and just the idea that there's no policies on one side, there's policies on the other side. She's trying to, you know, roll some out, but they're insane. Uh, and, or Trump. Or, or copied, right? When, when, when Trump said day one was three and a half years ago, yeah, it was actually funny, too. Yeah, it's it was like, Kamala keeps saying she's going to, on day one, she's going to fix it. Day one was three and a half years ago. What are you doing? I was, I was, I started laughing when I saw that. That was good. That's, that's the line. Cause everybody I know, like whenever this comes up, everybody instantly says, you're the vice president. What are you talking? Like, if I get elected on day one, I'm going after big pharma. It's like, do it now. What do you, she just wants you to suffer a little bit. Mm -hmm. Also not to say that, you know, it shouldn't be a huge priority for Trump to reach independent voters, new people, et cetera. But I think there also is something to said about the fact that social media is doing a lot of the work for him because the internet's never been as free as now. Like Elon really set a standard that other apps have like fought, like TikTok's way more free. I was banned on TikTok in 2021 for saying something really small about gender, just perma banned for life whereas now people are straight up very pro-trump in tiktoks which would not Did even get allowed. No, i think it's all no. fake i think it's all fake i think the reason why you're seeing more pro-trump tiktok is because of the threat to ban it well yeah he's early that's not early on republicans wanted to ban it now democrats want to ban it over the israel stuff and trump's like no we're not going to ban it i think tiktok is intentionally pushing trump memes because they want trump to win because trump has said i won't ban it now and yes. the democrats are the ones trying to get it banned I also just think, I think the TikTok uh, tra uh, uh, traffic is all fake.